As we clear out the clouds later on tonight, that's going to really allow these morning temperatures to bottom out the next couple mornings. You can see tomorrow morning will drop down to a low of 36 degrees, but the big one that you're looking forward to is Friday, where we could see likely our first freeze of the fall, possibly getting down into the upper 20s. A hard freeze expected back into the 30s for the weekend, and then another chance of dropping down into the 20s as we head back to school and work on Monday as we lead up to the Thanksgiving holiday next Thursday. So how often and how long ago has it been since the last time we got down into the 20s? Well, the last time we were in the 20s here in Columbia, you have to go back eight months to March 13th when we got down to 23 degrees. So yes, it has been some time since we've seen temperatures that cold. So it's going to be a little bit of a shock to the system when you wake up come Friday morning with those temperatures in the upper 20s. Right now, temperatures kind of holding on to the low 50s. We got 53 in Columbia. We got 50 in Bishopville, 52 in Camden, and we got 50 up in Lancaster as as we head now deeper into the evening, the clouds still kind of hanging tough. Eventually, though, we're going to get these clouds to push off to the east. And then as skies clear, sunshine expected the return for tomorrow. But with that northerly flow still in place, we are looking at those cool conditions continuing. That high kind of sticks with us, although a dry front kind of arrives Friday. Not going to bring any showers with it, but what it does do is bring in a reinforcing shot of cooler air getting into the weekend. So that's why temperatures expect to stay well below average all the way through the weekend as another Arctic high builds in by Saturday. The good news is this high is going to clear everything out. So if you're doing some traveling over the weekend to get a jump start for the holiday stuff, you can see anywhere you're heading across much of the eastern half of the country does look dry, so you shouldn't run into any delays. Hopefully in the airways that high then begins to slide off to the east as we head towards Tuesday, maybe giving us the chance for a few showers come Tuesday afternoon, but otherwise traffic still looking good as you're doing some traveling, except if you're heading down towards Florida or lower ports of Georgia where you might run into some showers. And then as we get closer to Thanksgiving, we're watching another high and low pressure system that could bring us the next chance for some showers. So right now, maybe looking at the possibility for some rain come Thanksgiving. But in the meantime, we're just looking at plenty of sunshine all the way through the weekend. Temperatures staying in the 50s, overnight lows in the 20s and 30s, eventually getting back into the 60s as we get towards the middle and end of next week with the chance for some showers returning, especially as we get closer to Thanksgiving.